It's so important to study the Bible in a group together because the Bible was written by church for church. The Bible isn't just individuals writing to individuals really. When we read the Bible, the whole of it is about church, it's about community, it's about being in a group together. Just think about the whole first five books of the Bible where you've got Moses leading like three million people perhaps and he's writing these books of the Bible beginning with the creation of the universe and all the way up to his own death but all of it is about this life of church together and he's writing it I guess in the knowledge that it's church people leading it for thousands of years and all the way through the Bible like in the Psalms it's about the church coming together singing sharing life and sorrows and problems together and then the expectation is that we're going to be studying it as church together that that's when the Bible makes the most sense, when we are reading it in the way that it's sort of intended to be read. And I like the fact that the Bible actually says that when we come together as church, we should just have the Bible read. That should be an important part. So when we gather together, it's vital that we always listen to the Bible being read to us. But also in our own smaller studies of the Bible, there's always something more comes when we're reading the Bible as a group, studying it together as a group. So in our book by book resources we're always trying to provide as many little aspects to these study guides that will assist us in studying the Bible as a group as church groups together because that is the way the Bible was supposed to be read. <laughs>